All right, welcome back to Dual Destinies. Yeah, I get it. Fine. We'll do your... Shut up. <laughs> Not pay attention. Or we're talking a half a day to complete one statue. I, who are mostly their statue between 7 and 8.30 p.m. The village to press all the two statues in one eyes at 7.30. At 8.30 p.m. I think I said to you so quickly, and I could not leave the stage for a single second. How can I possibly have the time to go to the art room and commit murder? Is any of the defendants all the defense statues? Precisely. See, that's our self defense incident of yesterday. The defense team was there and heard her say so too. Don't try to deny it now. That evening, I went back to my dressing room to get something I'd forgotten there. It was well after the last bell rang. I'd say maybe around 8.30. As I noticed, both stage statues were finished. They are quite large, and they each covered with a white sheet, but I could tell. Alright, the professor was there when the matter came up. Before I address the professor's charges, I have a question for Robin. How hard would it be to complete a statue like that in one and a half hours? It would probably take me at least twice as long. So personally, I think it would be incredibly difficult to finish in that short a time. I didn't exactly help her case. But he won't get off that easy. He's bound to stumble over his own slippery means. Tap tap. Yes, yes. Okay. Do a cafe day. We finished it. Tell me more. What's of the other statue? What exactly does that mean? I'm afraid that I got the right statue before the last bell ring. I in turn completes the rest of it. I see. In academics, well, hard. Learning the basics is incredibly important. That's right. You skipped the most important part of statue making, didn't you? You a little. This is the practical applications built upon the basics that take so much time. Professors, I measured basics a long, long time ago. Unlike Miss Fancy Pants here, it lacks all the lordly fundamentals. Oh, quiet, you. Let you understand. I did not leave that state until I was done. On the sixth, he accept the witness's claim. Do I? Do I, though? Actually, that's supported by the evidence, to be honest. That part, anyway. Uh... For now. I've tried everything, but I still can't prove anything. I guess I... I concede. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Say it louder this time. Uh, I can see that Professor Means never left the stage. <laughs> That's right! Oh, what took you so long? I was at the stage the entire time. I could have possibly committed that crime. I'm not gonna give up here. I'm afraid I have to side with the witness, Sykes. Unless you have any further objections, I'll have to put this issue to rest. Objection! Not yet. The defense still has an objection. Athena, you thought of something. Well, as I said, not yet. Oh, so it's time for legal smoke and mirrors. Not yet, Athena. It's not time to quit. In times like this, when it seems there's no way to get out, do you have to... Yeah, I have to turn this case upside down. Instead of focusing on whether Preston Means could have gone to the art room, I should focus on how to commit murder without going there. Team Sergeant Lee is a bona f real bona fide idea. I must use any means possible to distract her! See if she can think while I cast these stones! Ah, who taught the bird to school? Sexton, if I hear one word of your usual jibber jabber, I shall have your head. When it occurred in the art room, yet the witness is on the stage. How do you propose to fill the vast gap between these key, two key facts? I accept the premise that the professor was on the stage the entire time. The only other answer is we've got that something else is wrong. Wait, that's it. Our last one of us made a huge mistake. We were totally wrong about the murder weapon. Not the murder weapon. 
What if I got the murder weapon wrong? Really now, and what do you tend to label the murder weapon then? Uh, 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 um... Perhaps you bludgeon the victim to death with your duller than dull thinking! Hmm, I'll give you a choice this time. Either you change your thinking or suffer a penalty. But I only got something wrong, so I guess allow the penalty. Hmm... The crime scene? Professor Means was the one on the stage was on the stage the entire time. He must be the killer. Ridiculous! The evidence is gonna be intolerant! Objection. No, it's just the murder wasn't committed where we thought it was. Continue, Sykes Dono. Okay, the murder was actually committed here. The stage? The stage. Greatest photo of this case has been how the body was moved from the art room. If the murder occurred on the stage, that means the body was never moved at all. Girl, when the body was found, there wasn't a drop of blood on the stage floor. There must have been some blood if that's where the murder was committed. There wasn't any blood on the stage. Really. But there was something on stage at the time of the murder that's now bloodstained. The... School banner? The school banner. It's true, there was no there were blood stains on the stage floor. But there was something on stage that did have a blood stain. And that would be this the school banner. No blood would have gotten on the floor if this were under the victim when she was killed. Oh my, that's quite a complete theory. Silence. Oh, what is it now? My theory makes perfect sense. It's a rather pathetic attempt. You must put every inch of your body in your attacks. The FFP states the cause of death was loss of blood. Yet only a trace amount was found upon that banner. Where'd the rest go? Blood getting on there when the body was moved by wire makes more sense than not. <laughs> Very good, Simon. Now tell me what's your first choice for higher education. I'll write you the ultimate in recommendation letters. You're all but guaranteed to get in. Actually, the defense has something to explain that as well. You do! There's only a trace amount of blood on the school banner. There must have been something else to kill use to soak up the blood. All I have to do is figure out what. This is what soaked up most of the victim's blood. I mean, the other banner. Why, that looks like there's some other piece of fabric on top of the school banner. It's the governor's banner that had been typically made for the school concert. Since it's on top of the school banner, the blood would have hit it first. It could easily absorb most of the blood like a disc cloth. And only a small amount would have soaked through to the school banner below. So it makes total sense for the school banner to have a little blood on it. So the banner absorbed the blood like a disc cloth. Yes, that would explain it. The governor's banner is like a disc cloth. Surely it was at least towel quality. Simon, put the stand there! Do something! Silence! Six Dono, you're learning to wield a blade quite well. But how will you respond when I come slashing you like this? The remnant of a large bloodstain was detected in the art room. Why would there be blood there if the murder occurred in the stage as you claim? The blood stain in the art room was faked. How? I'll tell you how. All that was needed is something that could transport the blood upstairs. That something was... A piece of evidence we've just finished discussing. Can we use this to bring the victim's blood up to the art room? Uh... 
A... No. A crane? No. Not the crane. Nothing is impossible, you put your mind to it. Of course. <laughs> yes, give me the penalty, let me move on. It was faked. The school banner? Nope. I'm running out of... I'm running out of juice. It's not good. faked somehow did he just Take the... Huh. Okay. Take a soup solo to sent the mere garbage to this court. It's only garbage because someone tried to destroy it by tossing it in the incinerator. Someone was most likely the killer, a significator of crucial evidence. Could use the wire to bring the blood staked governor's banner up to the art room. And the blood was whipped under the floor to pick the bruise. It makes perfect sense. God, ah! <laughs> order, order, this is quite a development. I think the body was never actually moved. Hold it right there, the body must have been moved. How did I swing that loud crash for during the mock trial? It wasn't crossed by the body crashing it at you, then what was it? Uh, I hadn't thought of that. If the loud crash was the body hitting the statues, what was it indeed? Not in the scope in show, something was carried along the wire in it. That's true, now I have to find. Something that was in the art room before the murder and on the stage after. The herb stripped down the wire crashing the statues was. The this this the statue of the yeah. Take that. Ah, that that statue. Yes, I believe it's the statue that broke the other two, not Professor Corte's body. The unique statue you see in the right, that's the pure white Radio Justice from earlier. Professor Corte accidentally broke it while she was polishing it the day before the mock trial. She used her own unique artistic sense and technique to repair it, as you see here. Nobody would have guessed that it was originally Lady Justice. Silence. Hmm. Perhaps you're on to something. But why, Prito? Will anyone move that ripid, scrappy relic in such a tedious manner? Excellent question, Simon. Keep them coming. You know why, but the fact that you won't acknowledge it shows how twisted you are. Lady Justice has moved during the mock trial. During the time, Professor Mean just fabricating now the pre recorded speech. We consider the facts, and Lady Justice has moved in order to. Point us to the body. President Means uses pre-recorded speech to fake an alibi during the mock trial. 
I wanted to make it look like he couldn't have possibly moved the body. Moving Lady Justice was way of pointing us to the body and smitting his alibi. That's quite a progressive argument. For a while there, I thought you weren't taking the trial seriously. Well done. <laughs> you should never underestimate me, Athena Sykes. Presser means always means what he says and says what he means by all means. Fine then, say it already, I'm waiting. The murder occurred the night before, but the body wasn't found until late the next day. Countless students passed the stage and they went to lecture off for the Mac trial. Answer me this, when did anyone see the body that entire time? That can be explained by... Uh... Uh... The victim was murdered on the stage and left it there. And the body would never have been discovered. Of course, there was nowhere to hide a body upon that stage. This is not good, Athena. Her claim is that this is getting close to be beaten to a pulp. I know. We've come so far. <laughs> I can't tell yourself schooled. I couldn't have possibly killed anyone. The killer is none other than Juniper Woods. It always has been, and it always will be. Uh, just, just wait a minute. Poor Juniper, she must have seriously regret having asked you to defend her. Uh, and I didn't talk to an injury. You really had Q convicted for murder. Surely you haven't forgotten that little fiasco. Uh... Not only did you fail to defend your client, you also raised far charges against her friend. You have no right to call yourself a lawyer. If the trial proceeds in the same manner and ends the same way as the mock trial, we do not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain. Well, I'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen, then won't I? Don't tell me I've failed once again. i failed to save someone near and dear to me. I've worked so hard to become a lawyer, even studied psychology. Has it all been for naught? Am I just doomed to relive that all over again? Uh, 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 Athena, what's wrong? Bre breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Vex, Athena, breathe. It's not working. Everything's going dark. After all I've done, this is how it ends. Forgive me, Jimmy. I couldn't protect you like I said I would. Robin? You leave Athena alone, man! Where's someone who saved me? It's because of Athena that I could stop hiding and start living my life as a girl again. And she saved the friendship between you, Juniper, and I. I think you're an awesome lawyer, Athena. One of the best. But I raised false charges against you. And that's not all. I've done some seriously unforgivable things. <laughs> What's the big deal? False charges are nothing to be scared of. I'm not even mad at you. I should really be thanking you. You use legit legitimate means. Dispose my wrongdoings and give me a chance to re-examine what's important. But what does it matter if I can't save Juniper? I mean, the whole reason I've come so far is... It's not over yet, you know. Even now at this very moment, I still believe in you. 
Junie. I, I know you better than most people, Athena. I know you never surrendered to the Dark Ages at all like the Professor did. Thank you, Junie, but I feel like I can barely breathe. I don't know what to do. Silence. Stop your blatant this instant. Look another fool. Prosecutor Blackwell. There's but one awaits you, is there not? There's a reason you've studied so very hard. Are you prepared to give up on all you have worked thus far? If you would not do, to be disappoint you know who. I I <laughs> You're wasting your time. You're nothing on me. No evidence or anything else to establish my guilt. You're helpless before the might of lawyers from the end justifies the means. Objection. Don't worry, Athena. You're doing fine. Truth will always win against people like him. But, Apollo, what am I supposed to do now? Listen, all you have to do is take in a deep breath and look back over the entire case. If there's truth to be found, and there always is, you're sure to find it. And let me see you smile. Remember what Mr. Wright said? The worst of times when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles.